Hey guys, just some news trickling in. So I mentioned last episode that there might be a takeover attempt. Well, it appears there are two groups, rival consortiums, uh, Callum Barrett, uh, as well as a group fronted by Ian Mason. Ian Mason has criticized Barrett because evidently Barrett came out and said a new head coach would be installed if he takes over the club. Um, I like Mason. He said it was uh, completely disrespectful to me. They have placed an embargo upon transfers. Uh, so I may be out of a job and we're playing pretty well. But uh, anyway, if I come back with some consortium news uh, or the match as scheduled, all right, guys, welcome back to Climbing the Ladder, our FM20 Journeyman Save. So I have had that long run of games that we talked about last episode. Uh, as you saw a minute ago, uh, rumors of a consortium takeover, two separate consortiums uh, battling it out. Uh, turns out the uh, current uh, owner of the club uh, refused. <laughs> <laughs> refused, and I'm not kidding here, refused to turn over all the financials to fully disclose the debt of the club that the new consortium would be taking over. And so they backed out, both of them. Uh, so I'm thinking he didn't want to sell all along, but uh, anyway, being what it is. Let's take a quick look at transfer news. Uh, trying to remember, we're in December. I think all these were good. Let's see, schedule wise. So we played Saints and Cardiff, that was through 9 9. There we go. All right, so those were all beforehand, so we didn't have anything happen there. We are looking to move on a couple of uh, new players. The club. <laughs> Out of the blue, out of the blue, came in and reduced payroll because we were real close. It was like four hundred eight thousand. They chopped almost eighty thousand bucks off of the payroll budget. So now we're back to being a hundred thousand over the payroll budget uh, after shaving almost a hundred thousand off from last season. So yeah, I'm having some severe uh, issues. <laughs> with uh with the board at this point uh but things have been going okay so uh we beat uh Jan Dudno 1-0 Alan Bennett with the winning goal uh we lost to uh I don't know how to pronounce that Pernikoch 2 to 1 Ethan Harding with another goal uh they got two had a player sent off late uh Connus Key we lost 2 to 1 Matthew Thomas scored uh we were a man down Daniel Penris uh, got another red card. Barrytown, we beat 2-0. Thomas found the net again. Ken Tipton on the pitch. New Newtown, 2-1 uh, to one win. Ethan Harding. And then Guy Holt scored on a stoppage time penalty. Colwyn Bay, a 2-2 draw. They had a player sent off. Alon Nash with a two-minute brace. That was brilliant. Phil Bird found, found the goal to end his scoreless streak. Declan McDonald converted a penalty in stoppage time to salvage a point. Camarthen Town, a 1-0 win. Another penalty in the final seconds of the match uh, after we got a man advantage. Uh, we beat Airbus 1-0. Ken Tipton found the net. New Saints crushed us 4-0. Uh, two players sent off. Uh, uh, Doyle early and Penrith, uh just uh, didn't want to see the game out. He was very frustrated, I suppose. And then Cardiff met Uni, beat us 2-0. Uh, played around with the tactics a little bit. If we take a look here, uh, we went with a, with a with our 4-4-2 tactic, uh, and that did not work for us. In this one, uh, we went with the 3-5-2, and they just ate it up. And the 3-5-2 is what we've mostly been playing. We're back for Yandeno today, and then Pontaprid in the third round. They are, they got relegated last year, so they are in the north-south. So hopefully we can take advantage of them. 
taking a look. We currently sit fourth in the table. New Saints have gotten all their uh, games in hand out of the way and have taken a commanding 10-point lead over Jan Dudno. Uh, they don't look like they're in any danger to finish in the second half of the table this year. And uh, Cardiff, who finished sixth after the first stage last year, look like they're going to be pretty good. And then we are solidly in fourth position, but... You know, there's only six points separating us from Kana's key in ninth position, so nothing is uh, nothing is done at this point. Taking a real quick look at the squad, uh, we have uh, Harding is our scoring leader with five. Declan McDonald on the back line with four. Uh, Kevin Greening, that's not our guy. Let's filter that out. His goals don't count. Matthew Thomas with three, Phil Bird with two, Ken Tipton with two. Uh, he is not starting much because of Ethan Harding being in there and filling out that right side. But anyway, let's get into today's match. Uh, we are playing Jan Dudno. They're second in the table. It would be nice to get a win here. Uh, we are at home. We are underdogs. I went with that 4-4-2 just to try to be a little stronger defensively because uh, Doyle and Penrith were both out, uh, suspended. Uh, do I want Bird in there and Roberts? You know, he can play. Don't really want Roberts up there. Let's put Tipton up there. And Thomas... We're going to have Thomas on for Roberts, Palfreyman, Jones. I don't really need I-4. Let me just kind of browse through these guys for a second. So let's take off, who did I say? I-4. And let's put Bamford on the bench. All right, let's go with that. We've got Harbottle in goal. Uh, We've had some really weird injuries uh, during this stretch. Uh, stub toes, stuff I really don't remember ever really seeing. Uh, let's see. We are coming off a couple of butt kickings. I don't normally do these just a couple of times. Usually the first match of the season, uh, cup matches, you know, anything like that. All right, we are in the white. Oh, nice little one-two passing. Wilson cuts it inside. And they are on the counter, immediately on the attack. Um, good tackle attempt slows it up. Nash goes high and Harbottle tips it over the goal. Nobody's sitting down in the end areas. Completely devoid of any people. Uh, Wood, oh, that's going to set up a set piece right outside the box. Dangerous spot. Uh, and he puts it right in. Phyllis Shirk, 11th goal of the season for Jan Dudno. 11. Boy, we are, we're struggling to find goals. Just struggling. I have not settled in on any tactic yet. That, uh, that one tactic that we had that was, uh, the second tactic that was allegedly had a hundred match win streak. Uh, I went ahead and shelved that and I've put a different tactic in there. Uh, it's a four, four, one, one, uh, have not used it in a match yet. I take that back. I did use it in one. Um, Sympathize. We're playing, playing okay. I mean, that's a set piece goal. I mean, you know, how about show some passion? All right, Wood. Tipton cuts it inside, reverses field to Wilson. He brings it in to Johnson, takes a pop, and that one's wide of the mark. 
All right, they do get fired up here. Whoa, that was a brutal looking. Did he miss that ball? I'm not positive. All right, Tipton picks it up. Could be a big counter. Two on two, two on three, play it through. Oh, he's got runners. There's a nice one to Penrith. He cannot get it past Bruinton and goes wide for a corner. We at least look dangerous there. Doyle controls it back into Penrith. There's a square and headed wide. I've given some thought to uh, at this lower level. Usually I look for pace and acceleration. I'm, I'm giving some thought to, oh, hold on. Doyle bends it and it's in the net. So I think set pieces are still broken. <laughs> I still think set pieces are broken. Oh, he does the chicken dance. Uh, Luke Ayling pulled that in the in the match last week uh, for Leeds. Scored a goal and did the chicken dance. That was awesome. Uh, Tipton for... Tell you what, let's bring Thomas on there. Philip Johnston on the left. Let's bring Lee Jones in for him. You can play out there, but didn't I say your crossing's a little bit better? Yeah. And... What's Lloyd? Lloyd Noble. 6'10, 8. Yeah, let's put him in for uh, McDonald on that back line. And, yep, yeah, that's no nonsense center backs. That's good. Let's give him some praise. Second in the table. We've actually come back in this match. Four minutes of stoppage time. Their highlight. That's troubling. Oh, God. Thank God. Offsides. Oh. I was like, how the hell did that happen? Phil Shirk. Yeah, he looks well offsides. He dropped back. Good call, Mr. Official. Okay, why why head it so far back? Any idea? Oh my goodness. Hart was right up in here. All right, we'll take the draw. Second in the table. Pretty good with that, right? We'll call that good. All right, Doyle We'll praise him. All right, we'll see you guys back here for Pontypridd in just a second. We are back. Um, I brought this guy in on trial. He's from Scotland, Andy Wright, 24 years old. Yeah. So we're going to give him about a week. I want to see where that pace and acceleration are and finishing are at. But he's got, seems to have pretty decent skills. Uh, but it says he'd be fourth, so I don't, that that's going to be a good signing. He's available on a free, uh, so, but anyway, just wanted to look since we're, we're struggling with goal scoring. Uh, I want, all right, we are on the road. This is that other tactic. It's a, uh, four, two, three, one. I thought I said 4411, didn't I? Well, I was wrong. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's dial this back to cautious. I've already taken the offsides trap off. Let's give this a shot. Let's give this a shot and see what our guys look like. Uh, I do not want Roberts up there at all. So where is Tipton? There you are. We're going to bring you in. You've got a good partnership there. Uh, 
third. I'm going to put Matthew Thomas in there. And then Jones. And then I'll bring Bird in for that spot. So we've got Johnson on the left wing. Holt. Pelfreyman. Is this a, uh, oh, this is a cup match. Because I'm like, that's odd. We have so few subs. Yes, this is the Welsh third round. I was like, that's weird. All right. Now, they were in this league. They were in, this, in the premiere last season, but they did get relegated. Don't know how many players they lost. We're in the red. Oh, do you guys like my new glasses? Just went and picked them up today. They actually aren't any different. They're the same exact lenses, uh, frames. So that doesn't usually happen. They usually don't sell the same frames year in and year out, but not good. That's a good through ball. What a save by Harbottle. I haven't used this tactic very much, so I'm, you know, I'm actually sitting here trying to analyze it. Harding controls it. Lots of space. He makes a run. Defender's closing. He slows it down. There's a cross. Well, it kind of faded. All right, Doyle resets. We don't get anything out of that. That is too bad. Let's go up to positive on this. We seem to be controlling it early on. A lot of possession. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it up to attack, full attack. Oh, there's a good cross. Bamford cuts it inside. He takes a pop at the goal. Not any trouble. For Brown. Declan picks up his third yellow of the season. All right, we're starting to put some shots not on target. Three out of nine, that's 30%. They've got two out of three. What do we got? We have worked the ball into the box. I'm going to go mixed crosses because. I think uh, Thomas is pretty good, if I remember. Yeah, he's got a 13 heading, 14 jumping reach. He's six foot one, so I think that makes sense. Um, Penrith, Penrith, Doyle, Harding. If I drop him there, Doyle is my playmaker. I bring him in the center. Penrus, he can pass, he can cross. So I can make him, let's make him a Mazala on attack. And then Harding, box to box on support. Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Bamford is right only. That's right. Okay. I was usually we switch Tipton out there, right? Which is okay. So that's that's about the most I play with tactics, and I'm always leery when I do it because I just I know I'm not good at it. <laughs> oh, he missed from inside the six yard box, headed it over the goal. Penrith. Oh, it dribbles in. Does it count? An own goal. We'll take it. I don't care. We will take it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to cautious. Oh, I thought we were going to get another one there. Right at 
Oh my God, there's a couple of headers on goal. Looks like they're coming off the woodwork. A little bit of being unlucky there, I would think. All right, he just chips it out. Uh, we are starting to really dominate this match. As we should. All right. Um, Declan. Wilson. All right. I think I'm going to bring Bamford back. I'm going to put Bird out on the wing. Now, Bird is a left. So we'll switch him and Tipton, and those inverted forward rolls will actually get better. They're not as good on the opposite side, but it's more natural with their foot. So that's that's a good fit. Pelfryman will come in on defensive center. Looks like their throw in. Uh oh, ah, they nobody closed down on him. That shouldn't be an issue. I always have that. Uh, get stuck in tighter marking. Yep, that's all right. We're gonna go back up to attacking, show some passion. And mid center, good marking, good tackling. He's actually a pretty solid central defender. Tell you what, let's move you out and then bend it for Holt. Get some fresh legs on that back line. Oh, uh, Bird heads it in. Third goal of the season, Tipton, after switching him over to the left side with the assist. And we are up 2-1. to one. Now, that was before the tactical change. Oh, that was a nice, deft header on target. Straight to a kickoff highlight. Ugh. Back to the keeper. Come on. Unnerving. Oh, there's a nice defensive header. Good save by Harbottle. Come on. Tighten up. And there we go. We take the win. We really put the game away. Only four chances, nine of 24 on target. We need to get better at that. They did have a good game, though. And we did win, right? So can't complain about that. All right, so we are going to advance to the fourth round. We pick up $22,000, and we will play... Connors Key in the fourth round, and that'll be at the end of January. All right, where do we come back? Well, we play Banger City consecutive matches. That's weird. I don't think, let, I tell you what, let's go ahead and come back for, let's come back for Berrytown and Newtown. That'll end up the first stage. That'll tell us if we're in the winner's or loser's bracket. And that'll jumpstart us into the second half of the season. So do me a favor, hammer that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for dropping by again. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And we will see you next episode. Take care. Bye.